Lego is one of the most well-known brands that has demonstrated the true power of resilience, innovation, and unwavering dedication to quality. Their journey showcases how a commitment to craftsmanship, adaptability in the face of adversity, and an enduring belief in the joy of play have turned Lego into an iconic brand that inspires and delights millions of children worldwide. Hit the like and subscribe button as I share with you the remarkable story of Lego, from making wooden toys to becoming a global phenomenon. 1932, Ole Kurt Christensen founded Lego in the small town of Billund, Denmark. Initially, the company focused on producing wooden toys, including simple yet charming items like yo-yos and pull toys. These early toys were crafted with care and precision, reflecting Christensen's dedication to quality and craftsmanship. The name Lego is derived from the Danish phrase Leg Got, which means play well, a fitting motto for a company that would go on to bring joy to millions of children and adults worldwide. Late 1940s marked a significant shift for Lego as the company began to explore the potential of plastic toys. By 1949, Lego introduced its first interlocking brick system, a groundbreaking innovation at the time. These early bricks, known as automatic binding bricks, represented the foundation of what would become the iconic Lego brick. However, the initial versions had some technical challenges, including limited locking ability which needed refinement. A pivotal moment in LEGO's history came in 1958 when the company patented the stud and tube configuration that we recognize today. This design, featuring small cylindrical studs on top of the bricks and corresponding tubes underneath, greatly improved the stability and versatility of the bricks. The new design ensured that all LEGO pieces could interlock securely providing endless possibilities for creative building. This innovation set LEGO apart from other toy manufacturers and laid the groundwork for its future success. In 1960, LEGO faced a major setback when a fire destroyed its wooden toy warehouse. This disaster could have spelled the end for many companies, but for LEGO, it marked a turning point. The company decided to focus exclusively on plastic toys, ceasing the production of wooden toys altogether. This decision, although difficult, allowed LEGO to channel all its resources and efforts into perfecting its plastic brick system. By the end of that year, LEGO had over 500 employees, all dedicated to creating high-quality plastic toys. During the 1960s, LEGO began to expand its reach beyond Denmark, entering the international market. A key milestone was their entry into North America through a licensing agreement with Samsonite, a well-known luggage manufacturer. This partnership helped LEGO establish a foothold in the lucrative American market, where their innovative toys quickly gained popularity. 1970s and 1980s were transformative decades for LEGO. One of the most notable introductions was the Lego minifigure in 1978. These small, poseable figures became an instant hit and a staple of Lego sets. Minifigures added a new dimension to Lego play, allowing children to create stories and scenarios with their tiny customizable characters. The introduction of minifigures also led to the development of themed sets, such as space, pirates, and medieval castles which further fueled the imagination of LEGO enthusiasts. 1999, LEGO launched its first licensed theme, based on the Star Wars franchise. The collaboration was a massive success, attracting a new wave of fans and boosting sales significantly. Building on this momentum, LEGO secured other high-profile licenses, including Harry Potter in 2001. These partnerships brought beloved characters and stories to life in brick form, appealing to both children and adult collectors. As part of its turnaround strategy, LEGO also invested heavily in digital marketing and community engagement. The company launched platforms like LEGO Ideas, which allowed fans to submit their own designs and ideas for new sets. This initiative not only fostered a strong connection with the LEGO community, but also generated fresh ideas and valuable feedback from passionate enthusiasts. 
success of fan design sets showcased the power of collaboration and highlighted the creativity of the LEGO fan base. To solidify its global presence, LEGO expanded its retail footprint by opening LEGO stores worldwide. These stores offered an immersive shopping experience, featuring interactive displays and exclusive sets that were not available elsewhere. The retail expansion helped LEGO connect with customers on a more personal level and provided a dedicated space for fans to explore and purchase their favorite products. Additionally, LEGO strengthened its distribution channels through partnerships with major retailers, ensuring that their products were widely available to consumers. Today, LEGO continues to thrive, driven by a commitment to innovation and sustainability company invests heavily in research and development to create new and exciting products. The story of LEGO is one of resilience, innovation, and the enduring joy of play. From its humble beginnings in a small Danish town to its status as a global icon, LEGO has touched the lives of millions. As new generations discover the magic of LEGO bricks, the legacy of playing well will continue to inspire and delight for years to come. If you love our contents and would love to enjoy some of our special perks, feel free to join any of our membership levels and explore exclusive privileges. But as you do, make sure you don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your pals.